Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio for the month of February 2022. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, although I am reading for February, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video, whether it's February, March, April. When you view the video, when you're drawn to it, is when you're meant to hear its message. Let us begin. <clears throat> I feel like somebody has been thinking of you heavily a lot and thinking about a second chance. I feel like they keep putting it off though. They keep putting it off. It's a conversation that's been put off for another day, but they most definitely uh, wish to talk to you. They have been, most likely this person may have turned their back on you. Okay. Um, They turned their back on you. They're trying to uh, keep their emotions under control, although they are very, very emotional uh, about this separation. Maybe they feel you turned your back on them, possibly. It could be... Um, hmm. Oh yeah, it could be that um, this person uh, felt very threatened um, or were very afraid or are longing to reach out to you but are afraid. There are deeper emotional issues at play. I feel like this person is like in the hangman mode so but they would have put themselves in that so maybe it is them who withdrew because they definitely would have put themselves in there to rest uh, to think to try to heal or to prepare for what was yet to come you see but in the hangman mode there's a certain understanding that needs to be attained an understanding of why things happened the way that they did. I feel like you guys were unable to work together or, or uh, were not in agreement about something. At the heart of your reading, you have serendipity and you have the Two of Cups. Wow, huh? <laughs> Just kind of melts your heart when you see that. So, I mean, um, there's going to be an unexpected um, yet favorable turn of events. Um, something that happens quite by chance, or at least it appears that way. I feel the hand of the divine is here, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But, I mean, um, an unexpected uh, turn of events um, that can change this um, situation that they were in, that this person was in, to something absolutely amazing. This uh, Two of Cups is talking about a love connection, something really deep. This card speaks to very, very strong feelings that uh, are shared between two people. And so I feel like um, I feel like this person is longing to reach out to the other one. Maybe they keep putting this off because 
there's a certain understanding, as I said earlier, that has to be attained by the hanged man, and that is why things happened the way they did. We see it over here. Um, we also see that they do gain that understanding, okay? Um, because of the Eight of Swords in reverse. You see, at the heart of the reading, there they are in that Eight of Swords, and, and they're in this hangman energy, but now the hangman uh, is also reversed. So he will be coming out of that with a new understanding, a new understanding about why things happen. And when he does, he or she, they will be seeking you out. This person is seeking your attention. Whatever they learn here in the hangman energy, um, gives them back the confidence to take action on something that they have been longing for, longing to do, and that is to go back to you. Or this is vice versa. You see, these cards tell me that... Um, They've been longing to take this action. They have been longing to reach out to you. Um, this is something that ended really badly. One second, I'll just, oh, nope, okay. Yep, she's coming back. <laughs> One minute, I'll be right back and pick up my dog. Sorry about that. And so, yeah, um, <laughs> this is about bringing back a situation that ended quite badly and bringing it back from the brink of death. So it really, really felt over for this person. And uh, this was before they, this is what drove them here to uh, the hangman position to, to try to understand what was happening and why it was happening, which was faded. And this is what I was talking about. You know, we have serendipity here, the hand of fate here, and the winds of change here. I mean, you know, you can't get any more clear than that. This is a faded event. This is happening for a reason. Understand this. And so, this person had to learn this happened so that they could learn what they were not learning, what they needed to learn, to progress, to grow, to advance. The other person that they left behind is going to be quite surprised because there are unexpected results. Uh, unexpected news coming that is going to make them very, very happy. You see, they feel abandoned. They feel unloved. They too dream of the Two of Cups. They dream of this person. They long for this person. But this person was not yet ready for this connection and I feel that they are now here in the future because they have been doing the work they've studied the um, they've studied the relationship they have studied uh, um, they have looked back at the work that they that they've done they've looked back at all they have accomplished They have looked back and realized what they value. They see now where they went wrong. So they come out of the hanged man position. A, a new person almost, like full of confidence.
there's a renewed interest in um, in this relationship from somebody who kept you or was keeping you at a distance. It's all right here. There's a renewed interest and there's news. And so something is transforming here. You see, here's your person. This is this person. They're looking back at what they've lost. And they still desire it. And they're coming back for it. Because they value it. Because they're in love with this person. This is somebody... This is their empress, you know. Uh, this is somebody they want to spend their life with, to build a life with. And they're coming in to clear things up. The decision is made. They want this new beginning. And they're going to reach for it. You see, this is what they've been doing in the hangman mode. There's the hanged man. And they've been thinking about all of this, going after what they value, what they desire, getting back what they've lost. A transformation of the lovers, another chance, laying everything out on the table, taking responsibility for uh, the actions that we took in the past. Being accountable. So somebody is definitely seeking you out. And this person is coming to win you back. Yeah, with this new understanding. Look at that. Four of Wands. A reunion. A homecoming. This is what's coming. A surprise. So clearly, uh, this other person here is going to be taken quite by surprise. Because she would have thought it was over. Having the strength and the courage to get back on one's feet. See somebody who's thinking their way through their problems, um, wanting to close off a cycle and begin anew. You have the caduceus. It is a healing. It brings news. It speaks to um, the beginning of a healing um, process. This can be a reconciliation. Now we have the hand of fate and we have the winds of change. So the hand of fate is saying that forces beyond your control are intervening in this current situation. And so that's exactly what happened when they were in the hanged man position. They received signs. They were shown what they needed to see. They were given the understanding. So this happened for a reason. Forces beyond your control intervened in this current situation for this person to see something. It was a faded event. Um, it is also speaking to chance meetings, much like um, serendipity over here. 
Um, I mean, they could just throw you two together, <laughs> walk right into each other. Um, winds of change. You know, or you're, let's say you're somewhere and you turn around and bang, they're right there in front of you. Winds of change. A change is coming. This can be for good or for bad, depending on how you choose, you know. Your destiny or circumstances, your situation, um, has been altered. And um, you're going to have to decide whether you want to stay on your in, on your current path or to change course. So there's a change coming and you need to be prepared to adapt because it's going to, with this change, it requires a decision. This is something unexpected, something that will take you by surprise, and it is a chance to heal a situation. Excuse me, a situation. Now, you also have um, the wind fairy. This is um, a card that's reminding you that your thoughts manifest the unseen into the physical. Take the time to observe your predominant thoughts. Are they positive and empowering or are they negative and disempowering? When you tune into how your mind is focused, you will most definitely see the relationships between your in environment and the thoughts you're thinking. So it only makes sense that if you want to change your world, you must first change your thoughts. You have to change the way you think. Now, this can also be saying that you need to think before you act. This is not the time to, um, to make impulsive uh, decisions or take impulsive actions. A well thought out strategy will yield a positive result. The Bard. And so this, uh, this card of uh, storytelling and the passing of truths, myths, and legends from generation to generation through the spoken word or song. Now, when he appears, you're asked to seek answers in your personal history. Go back, you or them, of course, you know, go back and find the threads of the patterns in your reality and trace their links to the present. You'll be surprised by how much of your past or that of your ancestors still weaves its influence on you today. When the bard appears, he asks you to retrieve the stories that are woven in the past. The seeds of the future are always, always hidden in the soil of the past. And this card says it's time to dig a little to find the clarity you need. Don't be afraid to learn the patterns of history because the only way to honor them or to change them is to know them. And I really feel that these um, messages here are for this person because I feel like they are in the process because when I speak here, um, I'm talking about a future event. So they are still here in this hangman position, but they are going to be helped along. I thank you for watching.
for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.